Hello everyone, this is Jeff from Tell Flare Mouse. So in this video, we'll be shooting a sappy plate supplied to us by Jeremy. I want to thank him for that. We'll be using wax slugs and hot glue slugs from a 12 gauge Mossberg 590 shotgun. This plate is rated to stop 30-06 armor piercing rounds. Should be interesting. First shot is a wax slug made from a federal target load. Uh, one and eighth ounces of seven, number seven and a half shot traveling at 1,200 feet per second. Go ahead. Next up is a glue slug made from a Remington Heavy Dove Load. Uh, one and an eighth ounces of number seven and a half shot traveling at 1,255 feet per second. Okay, glue slug versus, uh, what's left of our sappy plate? Okay, I'm ready, you ready? Yep. Oh, man. Now these sappy plates are side plates meant to be worn on the side of the body to protect your rib cage and, and abdomen from side shots. And I honestly don't know the history, the manufacturer, or very many specs about these plates. But I do know that the the person that donated them to me, Jeremy, did he contacted a few other channels to see if they wanted to do some testing on it and he was promptly ignored. Can you believe that? Hot glue slugs and wax slugs are essentially homemade breaching rounds. We're just using some kind of a material to hold the bird shot into one single slug. The material that you use isn't very important. It's the weight of that lead that is carrying the energy. And pretty much any material, any glue or substance that you use is just going to shatter on impact anyway. So we, you know, prefer just using inexpensive and available materials. One of the differences between a hot glue slug and a wax slug is that a hot glue slug can handle the outside ambient temperatures better. Uh, I've seen wax slugs literally melt into liquid just from being set out in the sun. Hot glue has a much higher melting temperature and you're not going to run into any melting problems. It's not going to melt in your car if you leave it in the trunk or if you set it out in the sun. But it is a glue, and one thing I have noticed is that, and you may have noticed in that clip there, the wadding is glued to the, to the slug and causes a lot of yawing. A lot of people might think that the, you know, that one piece wadding is going to act like, kind of like fins or, you know, the feathers on a shuttlecock and stabilize it, but that's not the case. It actually causes it to pitch and yaw wildly. Now a sappy plate is simply going to increase your odds of survival if you're getting shot. It's not going to guarantee survival and it certainly isn't going to guarantee you're going to be free of injury. There's a good chance you could have some broken ribs or even internal injuries from being shot by a sizable round. A heavy round carries a tremendous amount of energy, especially these slugs. And when it hits that plate, the energy is spread across the plate in a bigger area, but your body still has to absorb that energy. I normally do not accept anything from viewers. Uh, when Jeremy contacted me, I suggested, why don't you try selling these on eBay? You know, make some money off them, but he, he was insistent. He wanted me to shoot them, and I thank him very much for that. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thanks for watching.